Hello everyone. Hope you're having a good day. Hi, my name is Mitchell Coleman. I am an alcoholic and I have your daily reflections for today, January 11th. This one is titled The 100% Step. Only step one, where we made the 100% admission we were powerless over alcohol, can be practiced with absolute perfection. That comes from 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 68. <clears throat> and it continues. Long before I was able to obtain sobriety in AA, I knew without a doubt that alcohol was killing me. Yet even with this knowledge, I was unable to stop drinking. So when faced with step one, I found it easy to admit that I lacked the power to not drink. But was my life unmanageable? Never. Five months after coming into AA, I was drinking again and wondered why. Later on, back in AA and smarting from my wounds, I learned that step one is the only step that can be taken 100%. And that the only way to take it 100% is to take 100% of the step. That was many 24 hours ago, and I haven't had to take step one again. What a great feeling that is. <clears throat> um, again, please give this video a like and share with your friends and subscribe for um, my daily reflection uploads. It will really help my channel grow and reach more people. That being said, um, it feels great to know I won't ever have to have that, that day one again. And that's not to say other people maybe listening to this have had one and, um, you know, relapse is always a possibility, but you need to get in that mind frame and build that sobriety and that recovery that you won't ever have to deal with that again. And it's a pretty amazing feeling to be like, cool, I don't got to worry about that ever again. Um, another thing that I found in there, what I take from this is, um, so I knew I was an alcoholic forever for a very long time and um, it always ruined my life. So I wasn't the only one that knew this. It was my friends and people close to me. So if I moved uh, playgrounds to another spot, those people wouldn't know. So even when I, when I would have like periods of long-term sobriety, um, I knew if I were to go back drinking, I wouldn't go around the same people. There are certain people you know you always can because those people genuinely don't care about you, if you think about it. When they know you've went through recovery and, um, you know, they're still drinking with you. I mean, you got to be like, no, I, I can't. I'm not going to partake with this with you because I know what it's done to you before. And it's so very foolish of us to think that we're going to figure it out later. It's just um, like they say, that old idea has to be smashed. And we need to keep that in our minds that we can never go back to that. And that's okay. There are going to be tough times. There's going to be really hard times talking to my buddy yesterday. And, uh, you know, it's such a good feeling knowing that we're doing it. There are definitely hard times, but if you mentally prepare yourself, I mean, there's always going to be these hard times. There should never be a reason in your mind that you need to go drink again. There just isn't. There won't be a death that will happen. There won't be anything. You have to know that these are all parts of life these bad things that come. So an addict will love to use these things as a time to go numb themselves. Um, so another scary thing is you just have to know that your life is unmanageable. So even after a period of sobriety, whatever long that is for you, it's different for everyone where you feel comfortable, you will start to think, you know, my life is pretty manageable. I think I am allowed to drink. And that's the scary part because you have to remember where you were before and that it was killing you and it was pushing people away and it was not good. It just was going to kill you. And um, is the drink really that worth it? Are you willing to risk that little bit of, okay, I think I do got it this time around because you know you don't. Or you wouldn't be in this situation where you were. And that's why it's so important to stay in contact with people in recovery um, and to have like a, a peer specialist to talk to or an accountability partner, a sponsor, someone at church, you know, someone else that's in sobriety and has went through it because you're going to need that kind of person. And people can help you too that um, haven't been in it, the ones that love you most. But I found it is a lot easier to talk to someone that's been through it and is in it. And um, 
just don't fool yourself into thinking that um, you're not actually that first step because you got to be 100% with that first step, like they say. And I've talked about the guy that skipped it, but he says, I did all the steps and I'm good, but I just didn't do step one because I'm not admitting anything. I'm not weak like that. And it's like, <laughs> just funny to me. Um, I hope you guys all have a good day. That's all I really got. Um, again, let me know what you think on this, Karen, since <laughs> you're the only one that comments lately. Um, I hope you guys all have a good day. Um, I hope this video has helped anyone and um, take care. And I hope my left eye is opening because I've noticed it tends to go like that. Bye guys. <laughs>